Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. I am Ijoma and in today's video, I want to show you guys the trick that I normally use while working with a velvet. I want to show you guys how to make working with a velvet easy, like very, very easy. I used to find it very difficult, but since I found the trick, I have decided to share with you guys. So this is the velvet. This is our velvet fabric and this is navy blue. I have navy blue here. So if you want to buy a velvet in the market, first of all, look for the one they call a tape mount or tape edge. This is what we call a tape mount velvet. So if you can, if you, this is the edge of this velvet, right? So you can see this one has lines all over here. It has lines around here. So this is what you call the tape mount velvet. So this one is of high quality. The quality is very okay. If you want to make this velvet fabric um, stable, like, you know, most times if you are working with a velvet, especially if you are making a bossy, this velvet is always hard. Like, if you are sewing on it, it will not really be smooth. So, if you want to make it stable, the first thing you should do is to add an interface to it. And we have different types of interface. This is the one that I use mostly for my velvet. This is the tissue they call this one tissue gum most of you will know it this one is the tissue gum this one is um hard gum i use this one some sometimes not all the times i use it when making um a corset like if i'm making a corset this is that is when i normally use this but sometimes i use this most times i use this tissue gum i don't know if you can actually notice the texture this is a tissue gum you can also call it a soft gum but a soft gum is different from this tissue gum tissue gum is actually better than soft gum so we have the hard gum this is the one that i use when making a corset so we also have a clothes gum here this one is a clothes gum so using a clothes gum is actually a nice idea you see this one feels like a normal fabric so a clothes gum will also serve better. So one other trick that I use while making a velvet, while using a velvet is, okay, when I'm making a corset, I don't add my bone casing on top of the velvet itself. I will, I will illustrate this one. Okay, this is my velvet, right? Let's assume that I want to use this bias for the bone casing or for the channels of my bones. So let's assume that i have added my soft gum here so if i should go ahead and place this bone casing on this velvet and sew it will not really give me the finishing that i need you know i'll have to run a double stitch on this bias right before i insert my bone inside so if i should do that that way it will not really give me the fine finishing that i want so what i normally do is that i will go ahead and cut out um strips let's say i'll use a normal fabric this is a normal fabric so what i'll do what i do most times is that i'll go ahead and cut out let's say one one inch pieces they will be one one inch this just this size now this size is okay a soft gum and um, i'll go ahead and add my tissue gum on this particular one i want to use it and illustrate something so after adding my tissue gum on this one i will go ahead and run this this um, i'll go ahead and stitch down this strip that i have here i will stitch it down on the wrong side then i will turn this i will turn this and then run this one on the upper part then i'll come back and show you guys the difference one other thing that i want to show you guys is when you are adding this interface to the velvet do not iron from the right side of the velvet it doesn't turn out well most times you know um, velvet can be sticky when ironing it so if you are ironing this is the wrong side so iron from the wrong side it is way better so let me go ahead and iron this down
So right now, let me cut out the strip that I will use for my bone case. Just let me just cut out from here. This one will be enough. So right now, I will move over to my sewing machine and I will sew this one on top. You can see how fine this looks. This um, interface gave it stability. It is not stretchy anymore. It is not too stretchy. So it is very stable now. I'll go ahead and run this one on this side and then turn the back part and run this one. So I'll come back and show you guys. I'm done. I'm done adding um, these two. So I want you to pay very close attention to this place. It is fine. Not as if it is too bad. It is okay. But if you can notice, I don't know. Okay, let me bring the camera closer. So if you can notice, this place is a kind of um, rump. It is not straight. It is not really, really straight. It is fine, but it is not straight. So if you want to have a very fine finishing, especially when you are making a corset, I don't think I will recommend this type of bone case. But you can see this side. You can see that I ran two. Okay, I, I have three stitches here. Still, the velvet is very flat and firm. So if you turn the back side, this is what it looks like. I ran, um, I made two spaces. I want to do um, a double boning around here. So you can see how smooth it looks from the inside. If you want a single bone, you, you just have to run like one, one, two. But I made this three because I want to insert two bones. So if you turn here, this side is not really smooth. I don't think the camera can capture it. It is fine, but not too smooth. But check this side. You can see that it is very, very smooth. So this is the best if you are adding a bone to your velvet. So guys, that will be the end of our tutorial for today. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click on the like button so that more people can get to see this video. See you in my next video. Bye.